FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, good afternoon, folks. Larry Pesavento for TFNN, and we're going to take a look at the markets. Tremendous move up in the Dow Jones. We were down about 400 points at one time, and we recouped all of that. Uh, the NASDAQ is still down on the day. S&P uh, up just a tiny bit, and the Treasury bonds, of course, are still uh, moving lower. Uh, that's going to be a real one that the, a real hard one for the Fed to figure out what to do there because. That just doesn't have much support, but we are what we think is a great support because today's low in the uh, Treasury bonds was exactly 78% retracement to the penny at that 119 and change, and that was uh, done earlier this morning about two hours ago. Had had every chance to really explode to the downside there, but it did not. It rallied, so I believe we're going to at least be in the range between 122 and 118 probably for – maybe a couple of weeks before it decides which way uh, it's going to go. Now, the thing that's most important today is what happened yesterday in the short-term Treasury note rate, and that is the Treasury notes uh, just absolutely, these are, excuse me, these are the T-bills. These are the short-term short money, the T-bill, two years or less, and uh, it, it just exploded to the upside. It hit 5.3%, folks. We haven't had a 5% move in the T-bills. I mean, you can't, I can't, can't even remember it goes back that far. I, I guess I could research it, but I know it's been at least 25 years, maybe longer. Now, the one thing that you've got to focus on, this is my two cents worth away from what the markets are doing, focus on how much money, when you put on a trade, how much money can you lose? Focus on that because losers think how much money I can win and winners think how much money I can lose. So be like that slot machine. Take in the money and say, yeah, I'll pay you off if you hit something really big. But, you know, until that time, I'm going to take all your money and probably your family's money, too, because you can't beat a game like that. You can beat commodities because you get to pick when you want to trade, how much you want to spend, and you can change it at any time. You can quit at any time. Not, not with a gambling event. A gambling event, you know, is a flip of the coin, roll of the dice, spin of the wheel, blow of the whistle, whatever, toss of the ball, whatever it happens to be. Once that's over, that game starts, and you can't do anything about the bet that you made because, you know, they don't know what the outcome is either, but you don't have any opportunity to change. With commodities and stocks, you can change like that. Hey, stay with me, folks. I'll be doing my own show next, 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn.